Want to explain what you're doing over here, sir? Uh, backyard hacking. Backyard hacking. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to dye the, the vinyl top today. We got it cleaned up, uh, soap and water, and then wax and grease. We'll give it another once over once we're going to spray. But I'm just taking off all the, all the trim around it. Everything, you know, it's not painted. All this trim all right here. And uh, we got a really good match on the color for the vinyl. So here it is. Here's a spray out of it here. So here's the base coat and here's the spray out. Looks better up against the car horn. There it is. It looks probably looks dark on the camera. Right? It does. Yeah. yeah, but it's a real good match. Uh, shout out to Josue Rosales, Tasco Auto Color, and his chemist yep. over there, I-10 and Yale. Yeah. They're mixing vinyl paint for us. And, uh, so this paint, uh, it's the same stuff that's sold in the rattle can? Yeah, it is, but this is actually for a gun. So where's the other camera? Right here. Yeah. So it's SEM. Anybody who you, who's dyed interiors or anything knows that this stuff is top of the line. SEM right there. Mm -hmm. That's that's the best stuff you can use for dyeing vinyls, leathers, plastics, anything flexible. So before you do this, you uh, put an adhesive promoter, just right here. So we'll spray the whole vinyl top first with a Bulldog. This is the best adhesive you can buy. You don't have to mix it with nothing. You just pour it straight in the gun. I would still strain it. And then, you know, you spray your area, let that dry. Same thing with this. There's no activator or nothing for it. You just shoot it straight out the gun. So it's essentially the same stuff that's sold in rattle can. This is also sold in rattle can, but you it put is. in a gun. Yeah. yeah it's, and it's a custom mat, custom color. Yeah. And in my opinion, it lays out a lot more even than a can. Yeah. So. Huh? Tape out the quarter windows, and uh, we're gonna make these electric. We're gonna shoot with the prop paint gun. They're gonna go down. Yeah. Yeah. So whoever's in the back seat, you know, flick, flick off their ashes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice though. Imagine these electric. You're gonna make it go down like Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to use the blue paint, uh, blue tape on the painted surface because it's not as sticky. Whereas this should, this this yellow tape might lift. It's been two weeks. Back window's gonna be electric. Yeah. So it's gonna be like a truck. Tundra. Like a tundra. Yeah. All right. So we'll bring y'all back once we uh, start spraying this. Put it in a little drain. Yeah, that'll be nice. So this is the dye, uh, vinyl dye. Yeah. This is the wrong color. Yes, it's the original color. But we're going to use it kind of as a sealer right. to get some coverage and fill in or, or cover up whatever. And that was recommended by by the dude, the chemist. Are you going to pour some? Sure. Are you going to tell the people you got me painting in a swamp? <laughs> he needs the alligator in there. Yep. That's good, man. Welcome back to swamp times. <laughs> so this guy just got done driving his bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right through this Lincoln. Okay, so you're gonna give him the backstory on the bread wings, man? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are they comfortable? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Man, we got like. We got, a big, we got a big mess right here. Everything that you don't need in a paint job is in the air right now. Yeah, man. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we're, we're working with some suboptimal conditions. <laughs> we got just a lot of stuff floating in the air from the field next door that's uncut, untamed. So anyways, this stuff sprays just like base coat. I've never done it. You ever done it? Yeah. In a gun like this? No. I mean, I've done a rattle can. So dyeing the, the top. Now this top is in really good shape already. It's got a little blim here, but there's no tears or anything like that on this top. So basically just kind of refresh it Freshen it up a little bit and go for it, man.
probably even go less PSI. Look at the match on that. That was the original post. Yeah. Man, he did a whole lot of work. Yeah. I'm at 10, I'm gonna go to 8. Yeah, 8. 8 PSI. And cover the TV. I think there's a, the TV. There's a sheet up there on the top rack. Yeah, sheet. Yeah. Yeah, just a TV. Right, so this is the, the the color that we're actually shooting for. And it's just like base coat. Yeah. Nice man. Okay. It tastes like it. <laughs> and this is the spray out they gave you. Yeah. And you said this this part of the card was black. Right. I wonder how many passes it took. I don't know. So this is in uh, two two coat one one. One coat of the original color that we we're supposed to be silver blue, but it, it's more silver. But I like it because it's not uh, glossy, it's no, flat. It's like yeah. So, I don't know what the temperature is in here, man. Hot. So we're spraying this with a with a Iwata, the same base coat gun, uh, 1.3 tip, and uh, at like eight psi. Uh, I tried the eight. I didn't like it. The, the ten sprays better. Ten. Okay. Fifteen is too much, but the ten, the ten, it's enough. So what are you doing with that? Uh, there's still some silver left over in the coat. Should we close that door when we spray? Yeah. Okay. Let me clean up the door. So we'll bring you guys back once we're ready to spray. Yeah. So we're ready? Yes, sir. 1.3 tip, you say about 10 PSI? Yep. You got your terrorist mask on? <laughs> oh, shit, where's my mask? Only got one mask on. With that. Birds. It works. Does it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're scared of that owl. I got two of them. <laughs> how many how many coats you plan on doing on this? I, I think maybe two. We'll see. Alright. How uh how wide is the fan? Heavy, huh? Yeah. All right, what, what you got? Two, two turn? Yeah. That's a little better. Oh. That's good right there. So, <clears throat> what kind of overlap are you thinking? Probably 75. 75% overlap? First coat light? Yeah. Okay. Let's see how much it covers. Yeah. It looks like it's covered. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's covering nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I really oh. like the color. We'll get this area right here, man. <clears throat>
All right, so here we are Sunday morning. Uh, unfortunately, we wanted to do a video last night, but it was raining. It rained for like four hours nonstop here really hard. And it was too loud in here with the rain to actually do a video talking. So just waited till this morning. So the paint job on this car is complete. Like I say, this was a silver blue, uh, the GM color. Uh, we did the jams separate then tape them off and then we spray the car. Uh, so it has uh, two coats of the Lessonol base and, uh, and three coats of the SPI Euro. And then we waited about two weeks to uh, mask it off and we dyed the roof yesterday, like I said in a previous video, using that SEM dye. It's a pretty good color match, I really like it. Uh, so next up on this car is going to be to put the hood and trunk on uh, sometime this week um, and cut it cut it out we got uh, the whammy set up we got the wheels uh, and then wet sand and buff it um, everything is painted uh, the tail light extensions and all that so just wanted to update you guys that are watching this build it's a really nice car um, paint job make a big difference it's nice and fresh so that's going to be a wrap for this uh, this week's update. Y'all stay tuned. Thanks for watching.